Hello everyone, welcome to Community Impact. I'm Reena Agustin and I have this amazing handsome guy over here who is Pranam Madhuchandra, who is 12 years of age and studies in Calumville Community College. Yes. Hi Pranam. Hi, how are you? I am very good, very good. How was your day so far? Oh, it's been quite good. Uh, woke up in the morning, got ready quick and yeah, I played my dog a bit. Oh yes, you've and got then, a dog called Sweetie. And then we went here and I had some tea and then hey, we're here now. Oh wow, you're here now. You're ready for today? Yeah. Absolutely ready? Good, yes. can I ask you a lot of questions? Of course. <laughs> Let's start by your name, Pranam. What does that mean? Well, when my parents named me, they put parts of their name into my name. So, the starting name Pra is for Prakriti, which is my mom's name. And at the end, Ma, well, the M is for my dad, Madhu Chandra. Mm -hmm. And the N-A is for Nandan, which means son of Prakriti and uh, Madhu. Okay. Yeah. And then, altogether, Pranam is like salutations or Namaste. Greeting. That's right. We say Pranam. Yeah. Oh, wow. I love the name. I love the name. And with love, people call you Teji. Yes, that's my pet name. <laughs> pet name? Everyone calls you Teji? Yeah, I've been in my house. I quite like it. It's short. Since yeah, and, it is. It is. It's short for Tejas, which is sun. Ah, Tejas means sun. Yeah. I like it. I, You've got a lot of knowledge about everything, I suppose. Yeah. Yes. I heard that you actually like to watch uh, medical videos. Oh, yeah, indeed I do. And, and why is that? I don't know, I just find it interesting how the human body reacts to different things. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I watch like stuff where someone eats too much of something and what happens in their body, like hypernitremia, hyperglycemia, and stuff like that. It's just going above my head. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're 12 years old and you love watching that. Is it because your father is a doctor? Uh, yeah, Pranam? that too. Mm -hmm. My father's been a big inspiration in my life. And I want to be a doctor just like him. Really? Yeah. And when did you decide that? Well, I want to be like my dad. So I thought if I can be a doctor, then that'll be great. And I want to earn for my parents so when they get older, I can take care of them. I love that. I love that, Pranam. So you originally from India? Uh, yeah, my parents are from India. I was born in Dubai, mm -hmm. I think Sharjah. Sharjah. And then when I was, I think, two, we moved to Australia and I've been living here ever since. So you call yourself an Aussie? Yeah. Yeah, like, you know. pretty much Aussie. Yeah, Aussie. <laughs> so yes, so you are going to be a doctor one day and look after your parents. Yeah. It's, a, it's sort of an Indian culture, do you know that? Were you aware of that? What? The doctors the, are uh, Looking after your parents when they get old. It's not an Indian culture? It is, it is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I knew that. <laughs> you knew that? Yeah, I knew that because okay. um, the sons and daughters usually have the parents in the house when they get old. That's right. That's right. But it's too, so different over here. Do you know how it works here? Uh, no, not really because uh, I mostly just know about like Indian parents being in the house. But no, I think it might be the same here. They take care of their parents, but their parents might live in a different property from them. That's right. Or in an old age old home. Old age home. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. So, Pranam, uh, knowing you, uh, you're going to the Calumbale Community College? Yes. Describe me your school and your friends. Well, my school is quite big. has about 2,500 people and it's from prep to 12. And um, right now I'm in year 7. Uh, I'm enjoying school right now and my friends are nice. Uh, I like learning, I guess, because uh, my favorite subject is math. You love maths? Yeah, I love Ooh. maths. So, are you the kind of a topper in the class? Uh, I think so, yeah. You think so? My <laughs> whole class is like very intelligent, so I think I'm like up there at oh. least. I like it, I like it. So, um, apart from your studies, what are the extracurricular activities that you're doing? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, usually I do MMA with the family. We go to the lessons at Rami Sunder. Yes. And uh, I also did coding classes for a while. Coding? Yeah, coding. Wow, that's like a computer thing, eh? Yeah. You enjoyed it? I did very much enjoy it, but then, like, I think when I... 
uh, it started getting a bit hard for me, and then I just stopped. And then I switched to guitar classes. Ooh. Yeah, so I started learning guitar, and I think I'm going to learn, like, Old MacDonald had a farm. It's quite basic things right now. Yeah, but why I'm, not? Yeah, well, yeah, hopefully I can learn to play better. That's cool. So tell me your future plan, Pranam. Well, as I said, I want to go to university, maybe UQ. UQ? You have decided the university itself? Well, not really. I went to UQ uh, on a trip for a school excursion. Mm -hmm. And we got to see all of the stuff they have there. They're like history oriented. And we got to see the Roman, um, Roman artifacts and stuff like that. So yeah, I, I might go to UQ, but I think... I'll choose in the future. I'm not really sure right I'm now. Not really sure right now. So tell me about the the whole situation right now. We went through this pandemic, right? The journey. Yeah. Did it affect you personally, in your schooling or anything? Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. When the pan uh, when the pandemic started, I think it was like last year. Like they had the big lockdown. It was quite hard for me to do my schoolwork because I couldn't have like direct feedback from my teachers, uh, and it was quite hard. But now this year, I feel things have started clearing, uh, cleaning up, and I've been able to go to school. There's just a mask mandate, and I quite like going to school. I'd rather go to school than stay, stay home. Stay home. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. So, do you do you play games like outside games, indoor games? What do you like? Well, I like handball. Uh, it's a sport where you bounce the ball, and between the lines, yeah, mm -hmm. in squares. Uh, what else do I like? Video games. <laughs> yeah, I guess that too. Yeah. I guess little games, yes, I like gaming. So. Yeah. How, often, like. how often do you uh, go back home? Uh, home is Australia for you. So go back to see your grandma, your uncles? Oh, well, uncles. we used to do every year, but then since this COVID thing, it's like we haven't gone last year. And yeah. So, so Pranam, when you go back and then you when you see the difference between the two countries. What are the differences that you see? Well, of course, India is polluted, and the air is different, and also very populated. And I see lots of people, lots of shops, like on the side of the road. You can get tea anywhere, and lots of restaurants too. I guess it's uh, kind of nice. It's very accessible, because there's, yeah, lots of things everywhere. And um, where my dad's parents live, it's a small town, and it's and then um, they their neighbors have a dog, and I like playing with them. I really quite like when you said it's accessible. Everything yeah. you can find, everything everywhere. Yeah? yeah, yeah. And and especially with the food, you can get a variety of food. Yeah. Food is a big thing. Big yeah. thing. Yeah. What's your favorite food? Well, I like getting pani puri, um, puri with um, aloo bhaji. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. When, when we went to Kerala, there would be this shop, and every day at like 6 a.m., I would go there and get a very big puri. 6 a.m.? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty, very, very early. Yeah. Okay, so that's your breakfast. Yeah, I'd wake up just to eat that because it's amazing. Okay. Yeah, so I guess I like India for the food and the shops, and you can just wake up, walk anywhere, you can get anything you want. Mm -hmm. and, and tell me about Australia. What do you like about Australia? Uh, well, near my suburb, it's very peaceful and quiet. And I like that, and um, my school is not far away from my house. There's a park very close to my house, too. So I can just walk my dog there, and we can play. And it's very green, too, and uh, the water's nice, the air's nice. And everything about it is just great. It's and beautiful, so I, yeah? Yeah, that's so why I love Australia. That's right, that's right. So where all have you travelled in Australia? Well, I have been to Tasmania, I've been to Sydney, I have been to... Where else have I been to? It's kind of cloudy because uh, we used to travel like a lot back then, but then now it's not as much. No. But yeah, we frequent Tasmania, which is just an amazing place. Beautiful place? Very beautiful. Like, the views and the greenery is amazing. And the ocean is always right next to you. Oh, I love that. And if you can get, like, um, a, how do you say, like a hotel room or something that's quite high up, you can see the sea and it goes on for kilometers, like kilometers, and it's so beautiful. Wow. Uh, that's one place I haven't been in Australia. I should definitely visit. Yeah. So, Pranam, 
Um, so should I say that you're more of a nature guy, nature person? You love nature? Well, yeah, I guess. If I were to, I would take like a walk in the garden. I, w- I would like uh, taking walks around the greenery. Wow. Uh, Pranam, nowadays we can see lots of people, right? Lots of elders. Let's say the elders are parents, uh, our older brothers, sisters. Live a very quiet, stressful life. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Have you noticed that? Yeah, I think Why so. do you think that is? I don't know. Maybe school, maybe it's just life in general. Life in general. Yeah. What do you mean by life in general? Give me an What's example. That? Well, maybe for my mom, she has to do a lot of community service, which uh, might be stressful at times, but... And she also has to juggle us and her work. That's right. So that could be very stressful, yeah. Yeah. So how can we um, not stress? How do you not stress? Tell me. Well, uh, mostly actually my dog. If I'm sad or angry, my, my dog, I just hug her and I feel nice. And uh, also I just play games, I guess. Uh, those also just calm me down, I guess. That's nice. I listen to music. Listen to music? You like to listen to music? Yeah. Ah. I listen to a podcast. I like that. What kind of podcasts? Well, uh, it's a podcast where we learn through other people's li- uh, life stories, like about different things, how to deal with like bad landlords, how to deal with like the whole HOA. I don't think we have HOAs in Australia. What is HOA? I think it's like uh, some house stuff. Uh, There's like this organization that uh, like deals with like the neighborhood, and you have to keep your like your lawn clean and stuff. Otherwise, they like fine you. Yeah. And it's in America. Uh, yeah, I think we do have here. You have to keep your lawn uh, mowed and mm-hmm. clean, yeah. So why do you watch those kind of? Well, in general, I th- just enjoy because some of the stories are like about someone, how do I say, like getting revenge or something. I don't know why. It's just uh, fun how like karma hits people. Uh huh. Sometimes just satisfying, you know. Wow. So you believe in karma? Of course. Yeah. Okay. And. <laughs> When did that start and how do you know? Tell me more about karma. Well, my whole life, like, I believe in God, of course, I'm Hindu. And uh, karma, I feel I've experienced it so many times. Like, I've done something bad and then I end up getting hurt. It's something small, maybe I stub my toe or something. But I, I just think through, like, what I did before and I feel like it's connected. And, yeah, I feel like karma just exists around I like that, Pranam. You know what? Actually, I believe in karma too. And I believe that if you do good, you get good yeah. back. Yeah. Is that right? That's right. What you sow, so shall you reap. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's why I try to do the best I can. But so right. it'll all come back to me. Yeah. So you do help your friends uh, in school. I've heard that. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So give me, what kind of help do you provide? In work. Uh, yeah, I mostly work and uh, if they ask me a favor, I'll usually do it, like to take care of the bag or like um, take care of the laptop while they go do something. I just like helping my friends. I like that. Yeah, I like smiles. Absolutely. Very important, isn't it? Yeah. Very important. So what makes you angry? Honestly, not much. Uh, sometimes they get annoyed at my brother, but... You know, that's just life. That's just life. That's sibling. Sibling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't get too angry. It's just um, maybe when I'm doing chores or something, I don't feel like doing it. And yeah. I get sort of angry, but I don't, you know, throw things or something. I like that. No, absolutely and not. And I just try to repress it, you know? Yeah. I, I usually don't get angry. And if I'm actually angry, I just... Cry, I guess. Mm. I don't like like showing. You like me? Much. When I'm angry, I cry. Yeah, I don't like showing anger. Yeah. So it's like, I don't want to do anything, so I just yeah. cry. Yeah, and I stop talking to the other person. Yeah. <laughs> and and social media, I start blocking people. Bad. Well, I don't have social media. No, that's good. <laughs> okay, so that's what I do. So, what makes you happy, Pranam? Everything, honestly. Everything. Every day. Give I'm me happy. an example. Playing games, playing with my dog, playing with my friends, Mm -hmm. Um, I guess going outside, doing things with my mom, talking to my brother most of the time. Yes. Uh, What else? Going out to the shops, going out on movies. Movies. Yes. So Pranam, 
if there's anything that you would like to advise the younger kids, what would that be? Honestly, just, I guess, help your parents and try to help the community around you and try to make a change. Like, the best you can, try to make a change. Be it in someone else's life, in the community. Anyway, just try to make a change. What change would you like to bring in the world? Well, that's why I want to be a doctor also, because I want to help people. That'll be a big change. Uh, I want to help anyone that's in need. And I've always uh, wanted to start maybe something where I can save animals. Like, I've always been a fan of RSPCA and uh, other organizations that rescue animals. Because I just love animals. <laughs> I'm a total animal person. Total animal person. Yeah. And that's where you got Sweetie from? Yeah, RSPCA. It's how better to adopt dogs. Yeah. Better to adopt. Um, how long back Sweetie came into your lives? 2015. Hmm, almost six years now. Six years. Yes. When you got her, she was two years old. So, September this year, she turned eight. Eight years old. She's oh, been here for, with you for six years. Six years. Six years. So, animals just uh, change your life, don't they? Yeah, they're so cute. And, it, uh, and even, especially for little kids, it teaches responsibility. And uh, it's also stress reliever, as I said. And in general, animals are just amazing. Any animal, dog, cats, fish, I guess, birds... I feel they're just amazing. amazing. A blessing. Blessing. Blessing to humankind. So, uh, one thing which I want to ask you, Pranam, is, you know, I've seen this Facebook social memes, uh, media memes saying that, oh, we just want to be away from people. Oh, so hard to deal with people. So hard to deal with negativity. You are a 12-year-old kid, right? So, dealing with people, is it easy for you? Yeah, I'd say I'm kind of a people person. I like talking and in general, most people I talk to are just very interesting. In what way? Give me an example. Well, uh, my mom has a friend named Auntie Peggy and uh, I think uh, maybe last month when I met her, she talked to me about like uh, how she went to Tasmania and how uh, she was staying in this hotel and she observed everything and she was talking to me about like if you go anywhere, you have to like really look and observe, right, and make the most of it. And she was talking to me about, like, Aboriginal culture and how, like, they came to this land a long time ago. And it was just so interesting to me. It was like, wow, look at all Australia's history, right? You it know? has a lot of history. And I love when you said that, you know, you meet people and it's so interesting, you know. So from your perspective, I think everybody we meet has a story. Yeah, yeah? of course, yeah. Do you feel that? Everyone has a unique story and I find much interest in them. And that's why I like meeting new people. Anybody mm -hmm. I get the chance to, I say hi. That's very good, very good. That's the Australian way, saying hello to everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So, Pranam Madhuchandra, yeah. let's come to the point. Now, I want to tell the world your perspective of what advice would you like to give everyone. Honestly, I think everyone should try their best to make a difference in someone's life. No matter how small or big it is, you should try, always try your best. Because one small hello or hi or a checkup on how someone's doing could really just make a whole change in their life and turn their life upside down. I think that's amazing, uh, making a difference in someone's life, seeing their smile when you help someone. It just brightens your day, brightens their day. And it's a whole win-win situation and you just feel so good. And that's why community service is such a great thing. You get to help someone and see the appreciation, gratitude and just feel better about yourself. And they also feel better. It's just really just so great. Fantastic, fantastic, Pranam. Pleasure having you at our show. Mm, thank, thank you so much for your time. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're amazing. Uh.